I'm going to give this a shot. The last reading kicked my behind, so I'm going to give this a shot. Mick Mulvaney. I know nothing about him. I don't know his birthday. I don't know. I barely know what the man looks like. I know he was in charge of finance committee or something like that. I don't know. He could have been traffic warden for all of that. I have no idea. That administration bothers me from sun up to sundown. So I don't really know what his job title was, what he did, what he didn't do, what he wanted to do, what was on his wish list and Amazon. I don't really know. But what I do know is that he is now the new campaign chairman or campaign staff or what is he? Not campaign. What is he? The um, the person who who chief of staff. Good Jesus. I could not get to. Okay. He is the camp. Now I said campaign again. He is the chief of staff. He is the cost. He is the COS. He is the cost. He is the chief of staff. John Kelly was the outgoing chief of staff. He got fired unceremoniously. And so, and John Kelly, let's, let's face it, that was the worst move you could have ever made, Ben. That man's chief of staff because your reputation took a hit because of that. Everybody Trump touches, just, I swear, y'all have got to stay away from him. So I'm going to see what's around Mick Mulvaney. I don't even really know what to ask. Is he crooked? Is he what? I don't really know. But I mean, you got to kind of be to be that man's anything. But what's around you? What's going on with you? Are you about to be fired? Because you did insult Trump. Trump don't play that insulting me stuff. Rex Tillerson called him a fucking moron and came back. He had no job. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with you. Mick Mulvaney. Mick Mulvaney. I am not a... Um... Stop spinning. What is Mick short for? Is Mick just the name? Or is that short for something? Mick Mulvaney. Okay. The sun. We'll put you there. Okay. Three of Cups. Got your new job, so you are going in, even though you did insult Donald Trump. You are still going to get your job. The Hermit. It's about to be difficult, though. It's about to be very difficult. You're going to lose some sleep, sir. Hope you're prepared for that. Temperance. Okay, that card kind of bothers me, and here's why. Anthony Scaramucci thought he could go in and calm the waters. All he managed to do was get rid of Reince Priebus and Steve Barron, or Steve Bolton, whatever that gross guy, whatever his name was from Breitbart, Steve Breitbart, I'm just going to call him that. That ain't his name, but still. That's all he managed to do. Is that and have some quote on TV that I'm not going to repeat. You cannot go in to calm the waters, Mitch Mulvaney. Or Mick Mulvaney. Whatever your name is. John Kelly couldn't do it either. All he managed to do was fire Omarosa. So who are you going to fire when you get there, Ivanka? Temperance is a card of compromise. Do you think you're going to go in... Because here's here you have a you have a strategy you're trying to do. The hermit card is a card of deep thought, inner thought, sort of retreating to think. You think you're gonna go in and say, okay, well here's the plan. 
because you are the chief of staff. So the people who go in and out of the White House are your business. So you think you're going to go in and say, okay, this person, that person, let's get together and do something better. No, that's not going to happen. Donald Trump is a seven-year-old, 70-year-old man. You're not going to be able to reason with him unless you take away his Diet Coke and cheeseburger and then maybe he'll listen to you. The five of wands that is fighting. I'm already done. We won't even need no more cards. First thing that this, this card was on the bottom. But when I was trying to cut them, they would not cut. But this card kept trying to fall off. And so when I put the cards the way I wanted them and I started to pull, Spirit told me, hey, pick that up. That's why I showed it to you. Confirmation. You're going to get in. But everything that you think is going to happen is not going to happen. You are not compromising with that White House. You are a person who gets on TV and lies for Donald Trump's administration. The whole thing. Saying that the tax bill is going to be this for that. It's going to be great. It's going to know it's not. And you knew it's... I mean, you people lie for... I just don't understand. Telling the truth is so easy. Even when it's something ugly. You have to keep lying in order to keep covering up the lie you told before. There's the tower. That is interesting. I'm going to keep pulling. I'm not going to go there just yet. Yes, I am. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, I am. Let's go there. That's your base. You want to compromise. You want to go in. You want to heal. That's what the temperance also means, healing. Physical healing. But we're going to go with healing. You want to heal the White House. I don't know what it is about you thinking that you're going to go in. And mind you, I don't mean heal the White House as in you and I would heal the White House, as in purging the grossness from the White House. You want its public image to look better than it does. So you want to go th and shake things up. You want some things to fail. You want some people to fail. You want to be able to see all and know all. That is a good way to get investigated too, sir. So you might want to watch yourself. But the reason that card wanted to pop up again is because of the illumination. Your deep thinking. Your plan will be known. You think you're going to go in and shake things up? We'll see. I say no. Two of Pentacles. That's a partnership. Partnership, that's balance. That's money. Mmm. Mmm. You do get a compromise, well, not compromise, but a partnership with somebody. It is not Donald. Are you a mole? Ooh, let's keep going, but I just... Oh, confirmation. Page of Wands is going to come out. That's the news. You are afraid. Well, it's not going to come out. This is what you're afraid of. You're afraid of news? Why would you be afraid of news? Only people afraid of news is people who... Because this is good news. Sometimes. It's also discovery. Because you want to shake things up. But. What this just said to me. And the reason that card wanted to come out so bad. Is. Yes you do want to get in. You do want to shake things up. But you don't want to be. You don't want that person to blow the whistle. And say hey. You know why all these things are happening. Because of Mick Mulvaney. The chariot. 
This is your environment. Moving forward is what I have for the chariot. Moving forward, advancement, overcoming, self-discipline. With your partnership. But who are you trying to take down? Before I pull your desire card, there's somebody you are trying to take down. The sun is telling me absolutely. I need that card to be right there. Nope, that card is three down for some reason. Okay, well, let's keep, well, pull it now. The hangman. Let's pull the other cards while I think on that. The wheel of fortune, that is your desire. You are definitely trying to change things. The wheel of fortune is right across from the tower. But you're not trying to change things. Like I said, like you and I would change things, purging out the grossness that is in there. Trying to purify the energy of the White House to where it's a place where people can go and actually be happy. And maybe somebody might even want to visit. Other than Kid Rock and Sarah Palin. The Four of Pentacles. Resistance to change. This is also money. You have a gang now. This is where you were. This is where you are. Okay. So, step back. Who are you trying to take down? The hangman is self-sacrifice. Stagnation. Going nowhere fast, you put yourself in that position. Hindrance. You are trying to stop somebody. Who? Because it's not Donald Trump. It's just not. Even though you called him childish. It's not him. Okay. Stay there. The world. The world. There's a big change. You are trying to change something, but again, I'm asking, are you a mole? Are you someone who is feeding information about the White House to someone else? The answer is yes, by the way. Five of Swords. Theft. Three of Swords. Separation. You are stealing information. Absolutely stealing information. Nine of nine of wands. You're going to be successful at it too. It's going to take a lot to do, by the way. But I mean, it's it's that's weird because, mind you, this is you being on guard too. So you are doing something underhanded. Now, you're doing something underhanded in the White House, and I am not completely 100% mad at that. So, hmm. That is so strange. I was definitely not expecting that. Because I have no idea who you are. The magician. Oh, and you have all the tools you need. Just like I said, you are building your little gang. Look at all the stuff coming together now. This is where you were. This is where you are. 
or this is where you will be and then this is where you will end up i should say because this is your future card this is your this is your immediate future that's your distant future so this little partnership this little balance and act you have going on with you being the chief of staff and mm -hmm. you're a mole the two of wands that's an idea preparation right under your five of swords which is theft five of swords is not only theft but it's like a um, it's an underhanded type of deal but in more of a um a more of a dishonorable kind of way i guess all th thievery is dishonorable but it's it's this is evil, like evil genius mastermind type of thing. It's not just, you know, Trump type of theft, where it's stupid theft. This is you planning. And somebody is working with you because when I said, do you want to you wanna go in and shake things up? I got this. This is hindrance. You do want to stop something or someone, and it's not Donald Trump. Because he is not trying to be that guy. He's not trying to be the hero. If it comes out that that is it, but I don't think it is. And then here you have the Four of Cups. Which is a, um, an offer. So you're working with someone, just like I said. I just don't think it's like a Robert Mueller where I don't think you're trying to take down Trump. This, I just don't think that. And each time I have some sort of idea, that card that would not leave me alone until I pulled it says, yep, yeah, that's right. This is confirmation. Illumination. Oh, as the King of Cups, I don't know who that is, but he is under the separations card, so... That could be the person you are trying to remove from the White House. Who is that, though? John Kelly's gone. Who else would you be trying to get out of there? So under the Nine of Wands, which is the card of being on guard is the Ten of Wands. This is a card of burden. It is going to weigh on you. It is going to weigh on you. And as it should, because like I said, it is underhanded what you are doing. You're not doing something honest. Now stress. Also some hard work too, so I mean, I guess, whatever. Hardship. Right under the Magician. So you will fail eventually because somebody will illuminate what it is you are doing. Under the theft, the thuggery, the thievery, the evilness, under your preparation of your new idea is some indecision. So you get backed into a corner because you are on guard with the nine of wands you are burdened with the nine with the ten of wands now you are at a decision death major change renewal new beginning Hmm. So this is a big deal. Is it Donald Trump then? It can't be. I don't figure. No. Because you're not a good person. So, I mean, why would you be going up to Donald Trump? That's why I don't think that's, that's Donald Trump at all. But there is somebody. Because you have a decision to make. And it is a big one. This is not, you know... Should I put red shoelaces in my black shoes? This is a big deal. 
Because after the death card is the Knight of Swords. So once you make that decision, it is going to hit the fan and spray everywhere. Really quickly. Erratically. Eight of Wands. Ooh. That's crazy. Eight of Wands is also a quick energy. That means this is going to happen overnight. The moment you do it. Like the moment you do it, you might even do it on live damn TV. So I think that's probably what it is. So actually, let's. I know this has been a long one, but bear with me. Let's go. So Mick Mulvaney, I don't really know who he is or whatever, but this is you, Mick Mulvaney. There is a partnership right out the gate. Before you even got in there, there's a celebration because you are going to get the job. People are speculating on that because you insulted Trump. But you got the job. Right out the gate, you hooked up with whoever it is you need to hook up with, and you guys had your little private powwow. You are trying to compromise with someone, and I said there's no way you're going to do that, but nope. It came up that yes, you could. There is some healing. There is some something you are trying to do. You are trying to shake things up like Scaramucci. He didn't get it done. You are going to get it done. Then there is the Five of Wands. There is some fighting. So there is going to be some what are you doing in here type of thing. And then your crowning thought, the thing that you thinking about right now is the tower, the destruction of the current situation. Because there you also have the hindrance and the offer crossing the tower. Crossing your destruction, you are trying to stop someone. And you have a partnership that is helping you. They more than likely came up with the idea. I don't know if they're blackmailing you. Maybe they are. Maybe that's why you're doing this. And then there's the partnership. If you've taken Russian money, I swear to God. I just thought about that. Let's keep going. I won't get distracted. In your fear is that this will all come out because this is the news card, the page of wands. In your environment is the moving forward self-discipline card of the chariot. The wheel of fortune is your desires. You do want this to turn because it is right across from your destruction. You are literally trying to change things. Then there is the partnership that has grown. Remember, there is also the Four of Cups for the offer. There is now the Four of Pentacles. There is the partnership has now grown. There is the world. There is also a big change. This could also mean such a thing. There is a big change coming. There is a big change occurring. And then in the progression reading... We have the Five of Swords, which is the evil theft thuggery that you backhanded stuff that you are doing. That does lead to some separation. So someone is going out because of your efforts. Because there is your tireless fight. You are on guard. You have worked and worked and worked along with those other people to get this done. The Magician, you have now manifested a new... I won't say a new White House because it could imply other things, but you have manifested a new destiny for something. Whatever that is, the thing that you are laying the preparation for, the thing that you have been working towards, the thing that you have taken that person out because of, this is the preparation for it. And it has evolved the King of Cups. I don't know who that is. That's a water sign that would be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If any of those people in the White House match those signs, and this could be the person that um, this idea has centered around. Because after that person is Burden. It might be you that is the King of Cups. I don't know. I'll actually look it up after this. And then after the Burden is Hardship. So this begins to go bad when everybody starts to look back on your fear. And say, oh, look, 
Mick Mulvaney did something. Let's investigate that. Not legally, but as far as like reporters, they're going to start asking questions and this is going to come out. You cannot keep secrets forever. You do have a decision to make. Who are you going to throw under the bus? If you do, it will change everything overnight, quickly, erratically. Both of these cards are quick energy. They both came up right behind each other overnight. It will be illuminated. It will be confirmed. I don't know who it is you're trying to take down. I don't know why it is you're trying to take them down. But what I do know is that you going to the White House, there's going to be some interesting news segments on everybody's show. Because you have something that you are hiding. And again, I think you are a mole. Knight of Wands, that is fast energy. And then the Eight of Cups, there is your abandonment. You're looking to new horizons, your new job, you're left behind. There's something you're trying to do. I am very interested in what that is. Who that is that has caught your ire, I'm going to be watching that one. 